Whether you're looking for a new addictive fragrance for summer, stay with me because today I'm going to be reviewing the new Ellie Saab Girl of Now Shine and comparing it to the original Girl of Now EDP. Hi everyone and welcome to Ellie Smells. I'm really looking forward to today because we've just got in the new Ellie Saab um, Girl of Now Shine and I'm going to be comparing this and letting you know what I think and how it compares to the original Girl of Now Eau de Parfum. So before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe and push the button and also check out some of my other videos. So first of all, I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about Elie Saab himself. I think most people are actually um, surprised to find out that Elie Saab is actually a man. Most people think it's a woman. But Ellie Saab was born in the Lebanon, in Beirut, in 1964. And even from a really young age, from about nine, he used to sketch designs and make dresses for his family out of tablecloths. And I think sort of like he started his own collection by the age that he was about 18. And he's really renowned for making his creations out of some of the most luxurious materials like taffeta and organza but then he puts like embellishments such as embroidery and beautiful Shirovsky crystals and one of his most iconic dresses was when um, Halle Berry, Halle Berry, what's that from? Halle Berry won the Oscar, uh, I think it was in 2002. So he created her dress that she wore on the red carpet. So that's just a little bit about Ellie Saab himself. So this is the new fragrance. This is the Ellie Saab Girl of Now Shine. It is an eau de parfum. And if you look at the bottle, the bottle is sort of like a really unique design. It's almost got like pleatings in the glass on the bottom. But the top of the bottle has this beautiful gold flower and the gold stopper. Whereas the original bottle, you'll see, has like a blue flower. So the Girl of Now Shine is classed as an oriental floral. And the creator of this fragrance, well there was actually two, um, are Sophie Lab and Dominique per uh, Ropion. Now Dominique Ropion is, oh, the list of his fragrances just goes on and on but some of his most well-known fragrances are the Alien by Thierry Mugler, he's created fragrances for Givenchy, Carolina Herrera and also um, Giorgio Armani just to name a few but literally he has created so many fragrances but this is the latest creation from them and this one was launched in June 2018. So this one is classed as an oriental floral. So I'm going to spray it now. So when you spray this, you definitely get the idea that it's quite addictive. Um, like I say, it's an oriental floral, but it's also got a lot of those gourmand qualities in it. And I suppose it's supposed to make the ladies feel that, you know, that addiction to luxury and beautiful fabrics and how you would feel wearing one of Ellie Saab's dress. There you go, Tim, you can always get me one of those when you can afford it. <laughs> but anyway... In the top notes of this, there are quite a lot of fruits, although initially when I smell it, I don't get a lot of the fruit. But there is mandarin and pear, and then you've also got pineapple, but then you've got the nutty note of pistachio. And like I say, I'm really getting those gourmandy sort of essences out of there, and definitely I can smell almond, pistachio, and like nuts. I'm going to spray a bit of it on my skin and see how that settles on me as well. So as this is starting to settle, I am definitely getting the heart notes, which are more florals. So in there, you start off with like the bitter almond, but then you've got orange blossom, lang lang and jasmine. So you've got those real sort of feminine floral notes in the heart. So you've got those not it, I can't describe it any other way, but it is definitely a real like toasted nuts, and that sounds really bizarre with the florals. And then I'm just getting that softness, which I think actually is probably from the fruits rather than it being a fruity fragrance, the fruits just seem to soften off the um, top notes. And then in the base, you've got 
the addiction again of like vanilla and then you've got iris and patchouli so you've got that expensive essence of iris because iris is one of the most expensive essences to actually create because it takes six years so three years in the growing and then they wait for three years to keep turning and drying the iris bulb so yeah that's really nice but definitely it's sort of like smells quite woodsy it's seems softer i think than the original but i'm going to compare it to the original uh, in a moment hmm. so i think definitely for the ladies that like maybe some of those gourmand sweet oriental fragrances such as maybe the mon by galan or even the bonbon which we thought has got those rich caramels um, the opium, the black opium and that sort of fragrance, all those edible qualities, this one would be a nice one to try. I would advise you to go and try this one out. I'm going to compare this now to the original Ellie Saab Girl of Now. So I'll just pop, swap the bottles. So this one, the original one, the uh, Girl of Now, this one was launched last year in 2017 and again it was created by Dominique Ropignon and Sophie Lab. So I'll spray this one and see what this one smells like. And I can find the top. And I'll try this on my other arm and see how it settles and then I'll be able to tell you how they both compare at the end. But automatically, as I'm smelling this and as I've just sprayed it, it's stronger, it's got more impact. And I definitely think this one's going to be one that sort of like projects more. The, shine just seemed slightly softer and didn't seem to smell as strong or project as far i know that tim said that he couldn't really smell it initially so on the opening notes of the um girl of now original you've got the same top notes so you've got mandarin orange you've got pear and pistachio but definitely you're not it doesn't seem quite so nutty for, again, want of a better word. And then your heart notes in this one are just slightly different. So you've got the orange blossom, which you've got in the shine, but then you've got magnolia and you've got almond instead of bitter almond. And I think that's probably where it's slightly less nutty because I think that bitter note in this one just makes it sort of like definitely more nutty. So this one is definitely sort of like softer, but warmer as well. It's got more amberiness to it. So it just seems more rounded in its entirety. So at the moment, I am preferring the original Girl of Now. And as it's really drying, you definitely get in more depth to this one. Like I say, more ambery, more woodsy. And I think that's because you've got like patchouli in it. You've got cashmere and, and tonka bean and tonka bean just seems to make it sort of like more heady longer lasting but then you've got almond milk so i just think this one is going to be ultimately more wearable and last on the skin longer i know tim and i were just having a word about it and he was saying that when i sprayed the original uh, the original one it was projecting right across the room and he could smell that one straight away with the shine it wasn't sort of as deep or actually projecting quite as far so i'm now going to compare the two on my arms so this one is the shine and to be truthful i don't really like this on my skin it just smells a bit cardboardy like wet cardboard for some reason but i think that's maybe because this one is slightly more bitter that might be down to the bitter almond but this one just smells really warm on my skin and i don't know definitely more addictive i really want to keep smelling this one and it just smells warm and just lovely and delicious so I think it's just going to be personal preference. I don't know if you've tried either of them. Again, if you like those gourmandy sweet fragrances, like the ones that I mentioned earlier, the Flower Bomb, the Bonbon, um, the 
maybe even something like the Mademoiselle Intense because that also has those patchouli notes and the ambery notes in and I have done a review on that if you want to check that out as well. So what I would say is go in store, they should both have both of these. So there's the original which was launched last year, the Shine which has only just come out this month. Try them both on your skin, see which one you're, you prefer and let me know because it's always good to sort of compare how they both sit. But I think the Girl of Now original is the winner for me. Um, but I know that in store, several of the girls have actually preferred the uh, Shine. But I think it's again, like I say, personal preference. And at the moment in store, they do have the lovely little cosmetic bag, which is gift with purchase with the 50 ml over. And they also have samples as well. So it's always a really great way to try. See if you like it, take it home. Try it when you're not actually wearing anything else. And then you'll be able to get a true feel of how that's going to sit on your skin. So that's it for now. Um, send me your comments, let me know what you think to these fragrances, whether you like them or whether they're maybe just not for you in general or if you like or prefer one to the other. And leave me your comments. Like I say, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out my other videos. And that's it for now on Ellie Smell. So take care, hope you're enjoying the lovely hot weather at the moment and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.